Hey everybody, you are live with Stone. We are getting in now to Call of Cthulhu. If the sound doesn't break anybody else's eardrums. Uh, we are getting into part six. Honestly, I'm playing so many games right now, I don't know where we left off, to be honest. But it gives us a little refresher that will reach everybody, so we ain't gonna miss nothing. Nothing gonna be missed. I. I don't have too, too long today. I got to run to the bank later on. And my run, I mean literally run with my legs before they close. <laughs> because what else am I doing with my time? I'm streaming. And that's what I love to do. And that's what I want to do. So if I can wait, I can wait for an hour or so. Oh, I can't wait this game. I don't want it to end. And I felt the same way about what was that game? Sleeping Dogs? Sleeping Dogs? What was it called? I think it was called Sleeping Dogs. I'm gonna look that up just in case. I'm pretty sure that was Sleeping Dogs. Watch Dog? No, it wasn't Watch Dogs. Sleeping Dogs? It was called Sleeping Dogs. It was fucking called Sleeping Dogs. Hi, my dog. Hello, my baby. Um, that was a great game that I never wanted to end. That was good. I might restream that. It was a great game, so no complaints. Okay, here we go. Chapter 9, Hawkins Mansion. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man under his monstrous appearance tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. But I... But I don't understand about Charles Hawkins is like, why is he so violent? Why is he so aggressive with her? Is he mad at her for being this powerful? Is he afraid of her? Like, you know when something's, like, aggressive? Uh, like, for example, if you have a big Rottweiler, you're not going to play with it like you would a tiny little dog, and you're not going to play with a tiny little dog like you would a Rottweiler. So maybe he's, like, rough with her because she is super dangerous. But I don't really understand that, and I don't really see that, so we can just throw that theory out the window. Yes, my little babies. She's like, walk me in. Now! She will when I go to the bank. Let me go to the bank. Let me go to the bank. Okay. Enter the badness. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt. Guilt will never go away. That sucks. That really does suck. I feel your pain. Do you? I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Anything. That's when she turns into a beast. My work was what lured me here in the first place. Come here, my babies. While we watch a cinematic. It began showing me things. Breath smells like garbage, but I love you. What am I to you? Why is that? <clears throat> so, so they did have a domestic. I took care of you, saved you from your miserable lives. You'll never find a man better than me. It's not even him. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Is it not him? I don't understand. Is it not him? <laughs> or is it him? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> you are mine. Jesus Christ. Christ. 
I don't understand too much motive from Charles, to be honest. Is he just a dick? Okay, so the caretaker is a lying bitch, okay? I just want to let y'all know the caretaker, lying bitch. And how is that toy still fucking unburnt? Imagine Simon. Fucking going on here. Come on. It's over now. Is it? Is it? What the fuck? That was not nice looking. Is this a dream, Pierce? Is this just a little dream? Or at the last. You must play man. Who are you talking to? Sarah. Sarah. We've got her now. We've got her now, boys. Sarah. Got a lot of uh Mr. Pierce. Yeah. We were waiting for you. Mmm, waiting for me, bitch. Sarah doesn't have much time. What? What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous. Oh yeah, he was the guy at the bar. Bookworm. Like I forgot. You. I forgot. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. Alone. I will be in Charles bitch. Hawkins' office. <laughs> Getting a bit of attitude. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper, cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong, so ancient, enticing, dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. Mm -hmm. I know what okay. I owe you, Mr. Pierce, so but I can't come Fuller back to Boston is a with you. psychopath. He's fucking drugging everybody. <sighs> you can't. Why? There is a cult on Darkwater. It's because of the Wanderer. Charles Hawkins is dead. You and Drake are up to something. It's like so obvious that there is a cult on dark water. Oh, Algernon? Yes. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. Yeah. This like, isn't about Edward, what you want relax. or don't want to do. What? You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. Why is he saying I that? I know what I have done. I don't want to say I this. I rest <laughs> until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Oh my... Like... So we all die. There must be a way to fight it. The opposite. What? Why? Why does not explain to me what this says or why? Valid sand requirements. Like, <laughs> there's not. Which one's better? I should say there must be a way to fight it. Garble, or we all die. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't want to regret not saying that. Fuck. You can. Give up, even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen. That's ridiculous. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. <laughs> like what? What did the fucking ancient symbols mean? Oh my god, watch, watch. My sanity's gonna be all but done. All but done. Oh yeah, bucko. Oh yeah. All right, let's get real fucking insane. While Pierce's sanity is growing dangerously weaker, his increased sensitivity to the occult opens new ways for him. On rare occasions, he is now able to unearth hidden truths when he speaks to the inhabitants of the island. As with everything connected with the myth, using it comes at a cost. You son of a bitch. Okay. Skills? How many skill points do I have? Four. I was working on 
like this one. It's Marie, Sarah, Charles. Okay. Sarah Hawkins. I found Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of the Riverside Institute. Charles Hawkins and Dr. Fuller seem to have connived to hide her from the world. She seems to be very affected by the tragedies that have struck her family, but I detect a fighting spirit in this woman that I would better not underestimate. She's a survivor. See, like, what? How is... He can't be good. Charles Hawkins tried one last time to challenge the wishes of Sarah Hawkins, and he is dead. This time, there is no coming back. Although I condemn the actions of this man, in a certain way I understand his motives. He was ready to do anything to protect his wife. His abandonment of the cult allowed us to flee the Riverside Institute and to learn more about the threat that was weighing upon the mind of Sarah Hawkins. I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand those motives. I don't understand those motives. Like, he tried to protect his wife by literally being violent with her. Like, I don't get that connection. I don't get how he turned out that way. Why is his face a fucking squid? Did he, like, did he accept the myth into his body and, like, wants to prevent her from doing, quote, unquote, the same? But I thought she doesn't want so she doesn't want that she must not want that she wants to kill it so like why wouldn't he help her if he was really on her side <sighs> honestly everything of revolving around charles i'm confused about got the poker what else did we get down here sleeping pills okay <clears throat> I'll turn on the walk this way, I guess. Algae? Algenon. Algenon, where are you? Why is this fucking mansion so big? Oh, he's sitting in Hawkins' office, right? Is this Hawkins' office? Yeah! Seeing bitch. you again. Hello. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Kind of Hawkins from the fuck. influence of the forces that claim her? Truth By following Charles Hawkins. That imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Right, 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 right. Could? Right, right, right. right. You told me about this. We are dealing with forces Ooh, that shit, by far Ooh, surpass what sorry, your guys. intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. That was rude and savage. Um, I'm assuming... I'm assuming that I can say any of this. <laughs> I'm assuming. Don't assume. Don't assume in this game for sure. Not with the way you can... The icons. Let's hope the dagger just stands. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must okay. never come back. <laughs> he was that scared, apparently. Um, okay. He must a have genius been. like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does <laughs> happen that... Yes, I do have a solution. Oh my god, you guys, I I'm so sorry. I think I can destroy it. You guys but for that, I must approach the creature. And to be able to do oh, so, no. I need the key to Rie. Another you one guys. of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. Oh no. It is a very powerful protection. <laughs> well, able to I mean, repel I haven't very too far ancient into forces. It. <laughs> much more effective than your cult. Oh, what does it shit. look like? Sorry, y'all. It is a golden amulet. 
bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. I, I you know, <laughs> I can't tell what I should do. I'm going to go back to the last checkpoint so y'all can see. But at the same time, it's like, I ain't really go nowhere. I'll just talk to Sarah. But... 15 minutes 15 minutes 15 uh, yes. oh, we're gonna just resume we're gonna just resume I'm sorry y'all I'm sorry you didn't miss too much though it was literally just talking and her she, she was sitting in a chair staring at me that's it and then I walked down the hall to this guy so we didn't miss too much <laughs> Um, uh, can I say other things to him? Because I really wanted to say the weird shit to him. Yeah. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. Sorry, I want some PPM. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she Does was she aware know? at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazri. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Oh, okay. that's all I wanted to know. All in good time. Hmm. I wanted to look up the Necronomicon to see if something like that exists. And uh, I was reading some shit that uh, we'll talk about later. Um, find the bust. Mm, busts. Oh, of this fucker. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is it you, sir? No. I gotta find the bust in this fucking mansion? There's a bust. Is that you, sir? Am I supposed to like... Is it, it's probably gonna have a beard, eh?
like <laughs> one second guys
Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I did not meet my my company called me. I had to answer the phone. Let's look for this bitch's fucking head. Okay, it was not that one. It's a you bitch. You look pretty similar. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. This piece of paper. It's not you. Well, I'm just gonna double check for it. It's not you, right? It's not you. Okay. I've been down this hallway. <laughs> That's not something I can go through. I went through there. Aha! Uh -huh. This is you, bitch. <gasps> it was in his ear. <laughs> Wait, I know that one. The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by Kins. Kins. Wait. This sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by Concealed Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen it? What? Do I've already seen it. I know where it is, but. That was really weird. The way that that was written. Was Sarah Hawkins hear... telling the truth? I hear something behind me. Was she telling the truth? Let's find out. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Fucking hope not. That's a oh, but then she was gonna trap it. But it, it's it's not the shambler. It's the god she wants to kill. The rich. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. Oh my god! Imagine if she's like secretly. Trying to actually bring this guy back. How did she the survive the encounter with the Shambler? I want to see this thing with more of the Sims face. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Maybe? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. I can't tell if that bang was in the game or if it was in my house. Okay. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. Why are we protecting her? Is she really that great? Really that wholesome.
in the box. Knew it. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Sorry, was that a vision? I don't like that. I don't like that vision. That wasn't good. Let's go talk to the cop. How are you, Bradley? Ah, he doesn't look good. It's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any I'm news? I'm pretty sure she's dead, right? Tell the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. I was gonna say, don't fucking what do you blame say, me Pierce? for her fucking death. Are you with me? The fuck? I ain't gonna keep doing that. Fuller has committed too many atrocities. He carried out his experiments on Sarah, on me, and now he has killed Dr. Colden. He must die. He will suffer the fate he deserves, I promise you. But we must keep calm. He's not alone. We must identify his accomplices in order to put an end to their schemes. If you say so. But I'm only interested in Fuller. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. I prefer to be alone. Oh, okay, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fucking hurt your feelings. Sorry, bitch. Oh, wait. Drake gives in. Drake gives in his office. Ah, it's you again. I got your fucking amulet. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. That was enough CP for me. Boom, cha 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 cha. Okay, let's do. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, we're gonna do psychology next. Oh, wait. No, no, I want to validate. Right? Remains to be seen if it can really protect Sarah. Hmm. I slightly think he's lying. Two pictures of him and the other bust. <coughs> now I do. I'm gonna go tell Sarah. I'm sure there. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, 
You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. Okay, you guys, I'm actually going to stop it there. I have to get ready to go to the bank. I'm sorry, but I will be back later on to play. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry about this first 15 minutes. I can't decide if I'm going to redo it again or not, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I got time for. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, please check out my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram or Twitter for any schedule updates. Peace and love, everybody.